Good afternoon, guys. I hope we're all sparkly. Just got back from my walk with the troops and I thought I'd do a little video. Now, I always put the world to rights with my guys and we have uh, a bit of banter because admitting you've got a problem, it's not very masculine, is it? But our journeys aren't too dissimilar. And I think that is something that needs to be shared. So much like I always talk about the importance of talking for mental health, low testosterone, the symptoms are pretty much identical. Your journey, your path to get to the situation that you're in right now, it's not that too dissimilar. Some of them are pretty extreme, I'm not gonna lie, but most people's journeys are pretty similar. We're experiencing this life subjectively. And when I am objective as your doctor sat in front of you, I've heard it pretty much all before. It doesn't make it any less real, any less serious. It just means that actually we need to be a little bit more open about our feelings and our experiences because together, together, we can make a difference. We can actually affect a positive change to everybody's experience, not just our own. And that's what it should be about. It should be about the collective as well as the individual realizing we are one, one consciousness, experiencing itself subjectively. There is no such thing as death. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, what, what do we always talk about? We always talk about chunky monkeys as well. Most people are chunky monkeys. Pretty much everybody's a chunky monkey. Because we've lost our survival need. We look into nature. Fat animals, if you're a predator, you can't catch your prey, so you get killed. If you're prey, you're fat, you get killed by the predator. You're the first to be taken out. Survival of the fittest. What do we have to do? We wake up, walk to the kitchen, open the fridge, have a bit of food because we're a bit bored. We're not even hungry. We're a bit bored. Now everybody's on social isolation, social lo on lockdown. So what do we do? Well, the first few weeks we were quite actually motivated we were like right i've got my hours exercise i'm gonna go and utilize it i'm gonna be positive i'm gonna make the most out of this i'm gonna get all the jobs done in the house that i needed to do and i'm gonna make this work everybody's pretty sick of it now everybody's tin foil hats are on and do you know what I'm not so sure those tin foil hats aren't warranted because the narrative that I spoke about last time is playing out. Download the app so we can track, trace you. Ooh, Big Brother is in full effect. One of my guys um, helps made the uh, clean rooms for the Nightingale. Millions and millions of pounds have been spent on those hospitals. And have they been used? Well, it's fortunate, isn't it? It's fortunate they've not, but they've not had to be used. Honestly, the money that our government wastes. And I'm not saying the bloody labour would be any better. They'd be, I'm sure they'd be ten times worse. But something is afoot. So my tin foil hat is well and truly fixed on because I don't trust the government I don't trust media I trust my dogs my dogs love unconditionally my dogs are pure of heart loyal if I was ever in a scrap I know that they would defend me woe betide anybody that tries to attack me <laughs> you'll get mullered um so lacking a survival need lacking a survival drive 
uh, that actually gets fulfilled with what's its intended purpose, which is survival. So what do blokes do? Blokes tend to turn towards alcohol, drugs, crime, risky behaviour. Why? Because our testosterones are not being used for their primitive desires and needs. We don't have to survive. Life's easy, isn't it? So let's have a bit of fun. So all of those indiscretions, naughty things that we did. Well, we were invincible when we were 18, 19 years old, but now late 30s, 40s, those days of invincibility, those nights of invincibility, those mornings after the night, when every schmo was waking up and going about a normal life and we were coming out going, hey, wow, I'm invincible. Not so invincible now, but at least you got TRT testosterone replacement therapy it can give you some light a semblance of normality that is lost that normality that is that creeps up on you it's not normality because it's it, it shouldn't be how life has worked it's worked out because often people have made mistakes or they've made errors in judgment that have led them down a certain path that because it's insidious in onset, they actually assume it's normality. And it is normality under the current circumstances, but does it have to be normality? And the answer to that question is no. Much like the average person is unhealthy, who the hell wants to be average? I don't want to be average. I want to be healthy. Now, when I'm going through a bad time, what do I do? I make sure I'm very disciplined and I do not ever turn towards the path of least resistance. Of course I turn towards the path of least resistance because it's inbuilt in our psychology. Reward. How do we get to the reward as quickly and as easiest as possible? You take the path of least resistance. However, if you haven't earned that reward, that dopamine fix doesn't really satisfy you. So it's only with age and experience, do you realise that you need to put the effort in? And that journey to that destination, and remember where that destination is, death, the journey is to be appreciated. Every single moment should be relished, even if it's a shitty moment, because it's life. And only when you realise that, only when you've made those mistakes, oh shit, you realise, bang, I need to take this seriously. I need to reassess. I need to lose that ego and go, ooh, let's look inwards. What have I been doing wrong? I've not been sleeping properly. I've been working too hard. I've been doing things that are harmful for my health. I've not appreciated that my body needs real food. When do I treat my body? Should you treat your body? Are you treating your body when you have a high carb meal that gives you a quick dopamine fix and a massive insulin spike? It's like booze, Friday night. Hey, feel great, let's have a few beers. Saturday, don't feel so good. The cycle continues. And we're weak of mind, we're weak of character. Why is that? It's because we no longer need to survive. Coronavirus. Remove emotion. 
It's natural selection. It's mother nature's way of reminding us that we are insignificant. We are merely part of the world. Do -do 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 -do.